Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a little Zara haul. I went to their sale last week in order to prepare for Mexico City and to get some really cute outfits. I actually didn't know that there was a sale going on, so I actually splurged and got a lot of things. So I'm really excited to show you guys. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should if you don't yet, this is my new apartment. It's still in shambles. I leave today literally filming this before I head to the airport. So so this is a little preview, I'll have another video, but anyway, that's another story, another video, another thing. Also, there's people working outside, so if you hear some noise during this video, I'm so sorry. But yes, I'm trying to get these outfits ready for you guys, and yeah, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this super cute jumpsuit. I, ha I actually have another jumpsuit from Zara that I love and I've had for years and people always comment on where I got it. I like it because of the details. So it opens up here, which like if you have big boobs, I think that's like super cute because then it just like opens up like that. Obviously you guys know my boobs are small, so it kind of covers up, but I love that it has little shoulder pads. I think that's literally precious. And obviously we love that it has pockets. So this is definitely gonna be maybe like a night out, maybe to the club, maybe fancy dinner on a date night. <laughs> if y'all didn't catch that in another video, I talked about how I'm dating a guy, which was my New York City video, so that was actually a while ago. So I actually am dating. So anyway, this might be like a cute date night outfit. And then I think I'm gonna wear it with my Jimmy Choo um, shoes that I've never ever worn. Still have not worn these shoes once because I just, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't go well with a lot of outfits, but I think I'm finally going to wear them. They've literally been back and forth to Mexico and to Dallas like five times and I still, like I don't wear them. It literally, I'm like, why did I bring them? But I love these shoes, they're so cute. Obviously not from Zara. So this is gonna be outfit number one. Let me go ahead and change. Okay, so this is another outfit. I am so obsessed with this. Technically supposed to be more fitted, but you guys know I love oversized things. So this is an extra large. I got a large, but whenever I was trying to do this, it like it was way too short in the front. So I think the extra large was like perfect. Obviously it does not come with the belt. I added that on. And I wanted to wear it with my Chloe boots, but I honestly think that it might be too chunky. So I might switch them out for something else, but I love this. It's like pleather. So I don't know, like it's very like, cool girl vibes, very Mexico City. If anything, low key, I might actually wear this outfit to the club because I think this is a very club appropriate outfit. I do think though, I might wear them with these. I think this is like, I think this will be a better, better vibe for this outfit. These are actually from Miss Lola. They have really awesome shoes. So if you ever need some shoes, um, Miss Lola, y'all can use Little Mexico for 30 off. So, okay, this is an outfit, I love this. Like even, you know, I could definitely, no lie, wear these shades in the club. A whole look. So packing this one, let's move on to the other outfit. As you guys see, I'm doing a little pile right there because I'm literally packing as I'm filming this video. That's how hectic today is. But I really wanted to get this content out to you guys. So anyway, here we go. Another one of my absolutely favorite outfits that I got from Zara is this set. This was actually not on sale, but I was like, I must have it because it's so Mexico City, but it's so chic. It's like a kind of like a look cashmere mix with something else. Definitely not like cashmere or anything, but it feels cashmere-ish. So it's really warm and obviously this is a pant, so it's very, very cute. It's like a beige color. I don't know what to wear it with though. Like, I feel like this could go with the Chloe boots, but it honestly might be too much. I feel like this is already so warm that if like I was to wear a blazer or a jacket, I'm literally gonna be dying. Also, this just looks too formal, so maybe not that. But I did get this peacoat from Zara, so maybe I could just wear this like over it and then I can just take it off when I get hot. But I love this set. I think this set is so cute. Very chic, very... Mexico City. Also, I got this um, purse from Zara. I think this was on sale. Oh no, this was not on sale. Whoops. <laughs> 
This was not on sale, but I thought it was so cute. $50 for this little bag, and you could either wear it like this, or you could just like hold it. So I thought this purse was like a must. So this is one of the other outfits. I might, I think I'm gonna wear it with, I'm probably just gonna wear it with these. I think it could go with the black boots, but probably not so much. So maybe I'll just do like an all white outfit, all beige outfit, and see how that works out for me. So yeah, this is outfit number three. Let's change it to another one. Now this, I am not taking to Mexico City. I'm sure it was on sale because it was a very New Year's type um, outfit, but I think I am going to get it tailored because um, it's a little big on me, but I kind of want to bring it up a little bit right here to make it look more of like a skirt and not just like one dress and then like make this a little bit smaller. And I might make this um, like an outfit that I wear for my birthday photo shoot next month. So I don't know, like it is a bit much. Like I don't know that I would like ever really wear this like out and about because I think it's a, it's just very loud unless there was like some kind of special event or like a themed party. But I think for a photo shoot, this is really awesome. But I think a key thing is like when you are buying clothes, even like maybe, I think maybe this is just a large, a size larger than what I would usually get. But if it's on sale, just get it. You can always get it tailored. So, it's a win-win for everyone. So I love this outfit. Definitely not taking it to Mexico, but let's move on to another one. Oh, also, sorry if I'm like flashing everyone. I have these like little sticky booby things. Um, again, this is big on me, so we're gonna fix that. Okay, let me film this super quick before they start drilling out there. So these are some faux like leather pants, and then this is just like this vel vel Velcro velvet type vest shirt that I got. I love the back of it, I think it's kind of cool. It's very, I feel like it's very street style. I feel like I could definitely do a little bit more, maybe as some accessories or I don't know. I feel like I could do a lot more, maybe like a shirt underneath something, but right now I don't have the creativity for that. So I am, might just wear it as a shirt like this. So loud out there, so I might do a little voiceover. So I got this blazer from Zara a while ago and it's such a good staple to have in your closet. They actually have a brown version of this that my friend got. So if you see it, I would definitely encourage you guys to buy it because I feel like it literally goes with every outfit and it makes a lot of outfits just look very chic and put together. So I'm liking this ensemble a lot. And yeah, we'll see if we wear it out. Although I feel like I've worn this so many times. And I also got this bralette a while ago. And again, another staple that I feel like goes with a lot of things. I bought these pants and I really, really love the details of it. It's very sexy vibe. So maybe for like dinner or the club, I would definitely recommend to get these. So now the pants also are like opened in the front. They have like a slit, which is really cute. However, I don't know if it's because I'm really short or the pants just come like that. But guys, like literally, this is going to be on the floor. I hope I don't like trip on myself because I will definitely not have time to tailor that. Yeah, for some reason, these people have been working literally right outside, literally right outside my window. Anyway, let's move on to the next outfit. I got this little tank, sorry my nips are everywhere. I got this little tank and it was like $12.99. I love it because it has the this little detail um, right in the front and I just think it's a vibe. It makes you look snatched. It's not a bodysuit, it's just a tank but it's stretchy so you can tuck it in the pants. Again, I'm wearing the same leather like faux pants, which honestly, I tried on a lot of different like leather pants and these were like the most flattering because otherwise I feel like a lot of them make your butt look really small. So this is another outfit. I bought this thing as well, which like putting this on definitely is like cute, you know what I mean? But it's also very girly, which is like, Totally not me, but maybe I could be like girly for one day and put this on and just like be a vibe. I don't know, this is giving me like very like Gossip Girly, like, I don't know, this is really giving me like Serena vibes, like from Gossip Girl. 
I don't know, I feel like she might wear something like this. She'd definitely wear this little thing at the top. So this is another outfit. Again, I think I might wear the boots just to like not take so many shoes, but this is actually one of the last outfits. Um, I got a lot of different pieces that I could like do different outfits with. So just follow along on Instagram so you can see how I piece everything together. Um, but yeah, these are basically like the main pieces that I got. And I'm really excited. I am so ready. I'm literally about to pack. And then I'll be on my way to Mexico City, which actually might be a longer time than I expected. I was going to be there 10 days, but it might look like it's going to be around two weeks or so because I just realized my passport expired like three days ago. So I'm going to have to get it renewed. And you know, that takes a while. So anyway, it's not going to be as long as 2020 but it will be around two weeks. So that is it guys, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok and all the social networks, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.